today, the fourth upload in my series on Adobe Illustrator useful hacks. I have some super shortcuts that will help you save a lot of time when using Adobe Illustrator for graphic design. What is up people, Thomas Tutorial Graphics back again with another graphic design tips video. Today is my fourth upload in this series of hacks and tips for Adobe Illustrator, where we look at some of the most important super shortcuts to improve your graphic design workflow. They will save you a lot of time in the long run. To check out the playlist of this Illustrator hack series, there is a card in the top right corner with the first three episodes. This first hack in today's Adobe Illustrator useful hacks video is going to save you a lot of time when you want to bring an object to the front or push it to the back. You may have multiple objects in your design stacked upon each other, and normally you would need to head up to object, center back or bring to front. Well, not anymore. To bring an object to the absolute front of a stack, hit shift command and close square bracket or shift and control on a PC with a close bracket. To send to the absolute back, hit shift and command open square bracket or shift and control open square bracket for PC. Like most keyboard shortcuts, this will take a little time before you get used to using it naturally, but when you do, it will save you a lot of time. Using the same shortcut without the shift, move the object up and down only one position, not an absolute. Most of these shortcuts will save you a little bit of time in each situation you use them, but in your design flow, you will use them over and over again, thus saving you a lot of time in the long run. In many situations, you often need to head up to the toolbar at the top menu, but the shortcuts eliminate the need to do that, like with this next shortcut. Hit Command 2 or Control 2 on a PC to lock selected objects, and then Command Option 2 or Command Alt 2 on a PC to unlock all objects. To hide all selected objects, hit Command 3 on a Mac or Control 3 on a PC. And then to show all hidden objects, Command Option 3 or Control Alt 3 on a PC. When you are applying effects in Illustrator, you may want to add the same effect but in the exact same way. You will find that all effects are up on the top menu in the toolbar. Let's add a Gaussian Blur to the shape. We can then select another shape or multiple shapes and hit Command E or Shift Control E on a PC to repeat the exact same effect. Pretty cool, huh? To edit the last effect you used, you can bring up the dialog box quickly by hitting Shift Command Option E on a Mac or Shift Control E on a PC. The two selection arrows are maybe the most used tools in Adobe Illustrator. The selection tool which is the black arrow and the direct selection tool which is the white arrow are used for different things in Illustrator. Instead of going over to the toolbar, we can simply hit V and A to toggle between them. Also, or Command A or Control A on a PC will select all objects on your design. And Shift Command A or Shift Control A on a PC will deselect everything. With an object, if you select it and hit D, it will reset an object's appearance to white fill and a one point stroke. X allows you to toggle between the fill and the stroke of an object. And if you hit Shift X, that swaps the color and the stroke around. So, I hope you enjoyed this video on useful Adobe Illustrator hacks. Please like and share this video if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for more graphic design tutorials and speed up videos. So until next time, design your future today. Peace.